another image for you. Um, when you play four three, you want to think in each four three that you're just you just that's it. You're just dead weight on four three as a unit of notes, not as like one's higher and one's lower. So Got here's it. what's happening. Even just now, it seemed like oh he's going to the higher one and then going to the lower note instead mm -hmm. of they're all on the same P L A N E plane. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if if you did this, you you yeah. feel that four three is just a plane. It's just a cluster, dead yeah. weight, right? It's a unit. And then when you do this, what happens? It's just the same plane, right? It's just the same plane. So bop, 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 bop. you want to practice these two in every octave. release though to get the staccato right the release release yeah get an equal release next up but make the four as released as crisp as the three though make four as crisp yeah you want to hear close your eyes and say I want to hear them the same crisp releases They have the little spaces in between, right? Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, that looks better now. Because okay. now it's not going ones up and ones down. Okay, now okay. take your left hand alone and go up and down, not too fast. And think one plane across, horizontal. Get a nice bounce into it. Bop, 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 bop. hearing sort of one accented, one light, one going forward, one going back. Mm -hmm. I want you to bounce them vertically but think horizontally. Does that make sense? You're still bouncing them vertically to get crispness, but you're thinking overall horizontally. So you know what I'm saying? Not one's up and one's down. You're making a clump. Right? And then you should go da, 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 next. Next. That'll get that sort of programmed out. Right. It's one block, isn't it? It's not two different notes. It's really one block, one unit. because you're not springing forward and going back and all that stuff. That's right, that's right. Muscle memory. Make it even though. Now, back to your staccato all the way up and down. Rolling forward, right? See, I'm rolling forward in my mind. Then I'm going horizontal all the way up. With a little bit of curved fingers would help. Because yeah, you still you still want to know what? You still want to know where your threes meet. They're still going to be threes. You know where your thumbs are in between on the E's. You know four one two two one four on the crossover bridge. You know all that from your legato, right? Yeah. Remember your staccato was a snip legato, so you gotta know everything's the, the, the landmarks stay the same. So remember when you blocked these things out, you knew exactly where the 2, 3, and the 2, 4 geographically go. Of course, you have to be set up that I am imprinting those neighborhoods, right? Because any slips and slides and ins and outs takes away from staccato in this case. And what I'm noticing 
again, and now I'm noticing something else a little bit, is that three is a little bit longer than the staccato you want to envision. Four can be short, three can be a little longer. So you remember we said we want to pinpoint these neighborhoods that they're exactly defined and crisp, as crisp as the note next to it, right? Because sometimes you get this. You don't get them exactly precision. You're looking for precision here. of yourself to watch yourself back yeah that's sometimes, a good thing yeah. to do yeah because you can you can sometimes see that you're kind of going in a little hop above the, the f sharp instead of it being just very neighborly to the to the g now it'd be easier for in c major right you wouldn't be bothered with that right well you have to imagine that this is just a new plane a new center of gravity it's not really up and down lower higher it isn't Sure, sure. 